Hello friends, this video on circles part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. The first theorem says that the length of the tangent drawn from external point to a circle are equal. Let's draw a circle. Let's have an external point from this external point. I have drawn two tangent. I have to prove that these two tangents are equal. For example, this is Q and this is R. So I have to prove that to prove PQ is equal to P. How to prove this? So let's draw the so, uh, radius because if we can at least draw some triangles, then we can prove either by similarity or by Pythagoras theorem also. So let's try to draw this uh, circles here, triangles here. This is my center, and let's draw this lines here. Correct. Now I have my zero as my center of the circle, and these are the radius actually. This is radius r, and this is radius r. So I have to prove that PQ is equal to PR. I have two approach actually. So if I go by the Pythagoras and also we know that these lines are perpendicular. Correct. This is the theorem we have that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent through point of contact. This is the point of contact. Radius is perpendicular to tangent through point of contact. Now we can see that let's suppose this give this name to this point. Actually, this is Q only. This point is Q, I'll put here Q. This point is R. So if you see this triangle uh, POQ and POR, we have two triangles. So we have to prove that PQ is equal to PR, we can either use the similarity theorem, we can prove by that also, or we can use Pythagoras theorem. Also. Let's try Pythagoras theorem. So if you see this is R, and let's have let's name this any name, num uh, distance. Let this be H. Just for uh, reference. So if you find try to find the value of PQ, that will be root of H square minus R square by Pythagoras theorem. And P R will also be root of S square minus R square. And thus we can see that both are same. Let's do this. Let's say in angle P Q O PQ is equal to root of P O square minus O Q square. Pythagoras theorem. Q, o Q square and this is nothing but root of H square minus R square. Similarly, in triangle PRO, PR is nothing but root of PO square minus OR square and that is nothing but root of H square minus R square. And if you see both are same, correct? So we can say that PQ is equal to PR. Very simple. This is option one, and let's try with approach number two. Let's try to use uh, similar theorems because similar triangles we have used a lot to prove the sides are equal. So we'll see that these two triangles are right triangle, correct? Right triangle. So triangle, and if you see there, see the triangles are right triangle, and we have a common side, R this side. This and this side are same. It is OQ is equal to OR and PO is equal to PO, common side. Correct? So this is a right triangle. On top of that, two sides are same. We can say that both triangles are congruent. So we'll say that in triangle, let's draw this triangle properly. Two right triangles we have, right? Q and R are the right triangles. Q and R, PP is common. So we have two triangles POQ, POQ and triangle POR or in right triangles we say in right triangles POQ and POR we see that PQ uh, sorry OQ is equal to OR why because both are radius and OP is equal to OP common side so we can say that OP is equal to OP common side OQ is equal to OR Y is equal to radius since it is a right triangle and two sides the same we can say that triangle 
P O Q is sorry is congruent to is congruent to triangle P O R P O R. Since P O Q is congruent to P O R, we can say that both the sides are also equal. That is P Q is equal to P R. Correct. What we have done? We have proved that these two triangles uh, triangles are congruent. Since the triangles are congruent, the sides are also equal. Let's do some example. The question says that we have to prove that two concentric circles, the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle, is bisected at the point of contact. So let's draw this. Two concentric circles. We have drawn this. The chord. The chord of the larger circle. So this is the larger circle. So let me name the circle. This is C one and this is C two. The chord of the larger circle is like this. This is the chord of the larger circle. Correct. Which touches the smaller circle. So we have drawn a chord like in such a way that this line is become is the chord of the larger circle and also touches the smaller circle. Correct, and we have to prove that this is bisected at the point of contact. So, if we name this A, B, and C, so this point is C is A and B. So, we have to prove that to prove A C is equal to C B. So this is what we have to prove because the point of contact is C, and the question says the chord A B is bisected at the Point of contact in such a way that AB is chord of bigger circle. Also, it touches the smaller circle. Correct. So, what we can do is this: we can join this line. We can also join this line. Not drawn correctly, but it should be straight. So if you see, this is nothing but radius of the bigger circle, and let's suppose that is R two because it is C two. So let's suppose this is R two and center. So OB is also R two because OB is also nothing but radius of the bigger circle. OC is nothing but R one, radius of the smaller circle. So I'll say OC is nothing but R1. And we know that this line is perpendicular. Why? Because this is touching at one point. Line AB is touching at one point to the circle C1. So AB is tangent to circle C1 at point C. Correct. So AB is tangent to this circle, smaller circle at point C. Since it is tangent, this OC will be perpendicular to AB, and this line is also perpendicular. Now what we can see, we can see that directly using Pythagoras theorem, we can prove that AC is equal to BC. Why? Because if we try to find AC, AC will be nothing but root of R two square minus R one square, and BC will also be root of R two square minus R one. And thus, we can prove that they are same. Correct. So we can say that AC is nothing but root of AO square minus OC square. AO square minus OC square in triangle AOC using Pythagoras theorem. And this is nothing but AO square is R two square, and AC square is R one square. So this is the value of AC. Similarly, let's find the value of BC. BC is nothing but Root of B O square minus O C square, B O square minus O C square, and this is nothing but root of R two square minus R one square, and we see both the values are same, so we can say that A C is equal to B C, and that is what we were supposed to prove. Very simple, just we observed it and we found that since C touches the circle C one at one point, C is a tangent. Since C is a tangent, we got a right triangle here. We have right triangle here. We can very well use Pythagoras. Okay. 
Also, if we don't want to use Pythagoras theorem, we can use the similarity also. See, in that case, what we'll do, we'll take this triangle AOC and triangle POC. We'll see this OC is OC is common, and this AO and OB are also same, same length, both are R2, and both are right triangle. So both are congruent. Since both are right triangle and their two sides equal, both are congruent. Since they are congruent, AC will be equal to BC. We can use that approach also, or we can use Pythagoras theorem also. In most of the case, in tangent, since you'll get 90 degree angle, you can use either use similarity of the triangle or use Pythagoras theorem. Use whichever you are convenient with. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.